Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the baby winged aligner. Not quite sure if baby wing is a thing, but I'm kind of um, coining that to term. Uh, I like a winged liner, but I like it to be a little bit more subtle. I like it to create like a natural looking lift to my eye, but I don't want it to be really intense and very distracting. Um, I think that on Instagram and on YouTube, the winged liner is definitely a thing, and I think it's here to stay. Sometimes I think the winged eyeliner can get a little exaggerating and I kind of like it to be more enhancing, right? So uh, I love a winged liner because it does lift the eye, it kind of elongates the eye, it's a really beautiful uh, technique to kind of finish the eye makeup, but I don't want it to be too distracting and too intense and too dramatic. I think that my facial features are a little bit softer and sometimes it can look a little too harsh. So today I'm going to show you how I do that and I use a liquid pen. I'm actually working with a new liquid pen today. This is the first day that I've worked with it. It's the Sigma Liquid Pen Eyeliner. So I am going to kind of share my first impression, first thoughts on how easy this liner is or is not. I'm also going to share a little tip with you on how to correct uh, the liner if you don't get it quite as even or as smooth as you had hoped for. I'm going to show you that at the end of the video too. So before we get started, I want to mention that if you're not subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content, of course, don't subscribe if you don't want to, but I would love it if you would subscribe so that I can see you in all my future videos. Uh, all right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm popping on real quick. I've already filmed the video and I was just going to wash my hand and wash all this liner off my hand. And I wanted to show you guys, like I'm using face wash and it is like not budging. Holy moly. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that this liner is going to be a long wear eyeliner. Like look at this, scrub, 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 scrub. It is not budging. I'm gonna have to use waterproof eye makeup remover to get this on. Okay, well I wanted to show you guys because that I think says a lot about the wearability of this liner. Okay, so it's finally starting to come off and I'm really, really putting pressure. All right, now it's starting to come off. But anyway, I just wanted to pop on real quick and show you this. I've already filmed the video and I was wrapping up and I was just kind of cleaning up and I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so now let's get started with the video. Okay, so let's get started. The liquid eyeliner that I'm choosing to use today is by Sigma. It's the liquid pin eyeliner. This is brand new. Uh, I just received this in the mail yesterday, so I have not used this on my uh, eyes at all. I did kind of swatch it on my hand this morning just to see how um, rich it was, and it was pretty rich. I don't really have an opinion of this though yet. I have no idea how it wears throughout the day. I don't know if it lasts. The tip is shaped like this. So very fine at the tip, but pretty thick there at the base. So I would imagine that you can kind of get a, a versatile application that you can get something really fine if you just want to use the tip. If you want to get something a little thicker, you can press it. So I'll show you. Okay, so that is really rich. Like I barely put any pressure on my hand and it was really very, very pigmented. Now if you press it a little bit thicker, you can see that you can get a thicker line. So I do like that. It's pretty soft. It's not a real stiff pin, which I like. When they're real stiff, they're harder to work with. You want something that's going to be soft enough to where you can flick it out. And this one, I feel like, yeah, this one's good. This one is really crazy rich. Like, I'm almost, like, this is really black. I wonder, I wonder how quick it dries, though, because it being that rich in pigment, if it takes a while to dry, that could be a problem. So we're just going to see, um, we're just going to see how this works, okay? Uh, okay, so I have my, I have all my make, eye makeup on. I don't have any mascara on. I have lash extensions on. Sometimes lash extensions can make it a little trickier to apply eyeliner. I kind of have it down though because I do this every single day. And just like anything, you guys, practice makes perfect. About three years ago, I was really scared of the wing eyeliner. There was like some meme I saw on Instagram. It's that they're called memes, mems, whatever. On Instagram, it said, um, liquid eyeliners can smell fear. And I laughed because I was like, yeah, that's me. Like I, every time I would pick up a liquid liner to try to create a wing, I'd get like this like shaky hand. And I just, you know, because you're just worried if you mess it up, it's so hard to correct it right uh, but you know you just continue to practice and you get better I think one piece of advice that can kind of help is just start off really small you know just get comfortable working with a pen if you've never worked with one before uh, I do have a video on how to create a baby wing using a pencil liner that I will have linked down below and that actually to me is a little bit easier and a little less intimidating because it's a pencil and you can kind of manipulate it with a brush and smudge it out if you need to fix it whereas a liquid liner is a little harder to fix I will give you guys some tips at the end of this video on how to correct it if you do mess up. But uh, maybe start off with a pencil just so you can get comfortable with the shape of your eyeliner um, 
and yeah, and just kind of creating that shape. So, okay. So we're going to start. I have all my eye makeup on. I always do my liner at last. You can actually, I didn't really do a good job of removing it. It's a little smudge there. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I always do my eyeliner last. So I do my full eye makeup shadow everything. And this is the last thing that I do. So what I do is I usually just kind of lean into the mirror downstairs in my bathroom. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to use a handheld mirror. You can also use a handheld mirror. I don't like to pull my eye. Um, I know sometimes that works for some people. For me, what happens is I uh, don't really get a true representation of what my eye shape is going to be when I'm pulling it. So maybe I'll pull it and my liner looks perfect and then I let it go and my shape is completely different. My eyelid's not pulled like this anymore now. It's resting and maybe that liner didn't fall where I wanted it to. So I like to keep my eye pretty rested and I kind of just look straight into the mirror. I do lift my brows and I tilt my chin back a little bit. Now I always start uh, about in the center of my lash line. Oh, this pen is a little stiffer than the Physician's Formula, which is the one that I'd always use in the past. It's really rich though, you guys, like really intense black. So it, in some ways that's good because you don't have to go over it, you know, several times to create the level of you know darkness that you want you get it right away but in some ways it can also kind of work against you if you're not yet comfortable with creating that shape and you go in and you have that there all, you know you don't really have anything to kind of build up to so what I do is I start in the center of my eye and I, I basically lay the pin flat on my lashes I hope you guys can see this so I lay it flat on my lashes and then I just kind of gently sketch I don't really do one solid line if you're working with a pen that's stiffer like this, I think it's easier just to kind of create little sketches rather than try and create one fluid line. So when I get to about, not all the way to the outer corner, I don't want to take it all the way to the outer corner. I want to stop just before it gets to the outer corner. So like right about here. And then that's when I kind of pull that liner out. Now I create a little baby wing. I don't create a real dramatic winged eyeliner. I don't think that it's flattering for my eye shape. I do like the wing because it does kind of lift the eye up a little bit, but I don't want it to be distracting. I don't want it to be like it's too much. I almost want it to look when I'm looking straight at you. I almost want it to follow the shape of my lashes. You know, my lashes kind of fan out and I want that liner to kind of follow that shape. So kind of think of it that way. So what I do is I basically pull that line out and then what I do is I connect the lash line to it. So then I'll go down here to the outer corner of my lashes and I'll just kind of pull it up to connect that wing. And then you have a little, sometimes you have a little triangle in there that you kind of fill in a little bit, but I'm going to do the other side and I'm going to try and explain it better. Cause I think I kind of went off topic a little bit when I got there. So, so maybe this will be better for you guys. Okay. So you want to start in the center. I am laying this pencil on its side because it is a little stiffer. Okay, so there I am. I've reached right about almost the corner of my lash line, but not all the way. What I don't want to do is I don't want to pull that line down. I don't want to take this intense black liquid liner and create uh, a line that pulls my eye down. So just as, I, just as your lash line starts to curve down, it's kind of where you want to stop. Then when you get to that point, then you kind of pull it out. This one is a little tricky, you guys. I have to be honest. This pen is a little tricky for this. If you were a beginner with this, I don't know that I would recommend this pen. I would try the Physician's Formula because it's more flexible uh, and it's just going to give a little bit more. This one's more rich and true, so if you like a really intense black liner, this one's great. But if you are not yet comfortable with this technique, I would start with something a little softer because it's going to be easier to work with, when you, especially when you create this wing. So you kind of create that little tip by just pulling it pulling it out and up slightly. I kind of imagine that the end of my brow connects the corner of my eye, right? I kind of imagine this imaginary line and that's where I want my wing to meet. I want it to meet that line. Okay. Then I'm gonna go from the very outer corner of my eye and I'm gonna create that little triangle effect. Okay, this pin is a little tricky to work with. Summer. I was really hoping to love it. It's very intense. It's got that going for it, but it's a little tricky to work with. I'm sorry. Boo. 
I was hoping to love it for this technique, but I don't know that I would recommend this for a beginner. If you've got the wing mastered, you might love this, but if you are just starting, you, I think you need to find something a little softer. Okay. Okay, and that's the wing. So when I'm looking at you, do you see how the liner kind of just follows my lash line? Do you see how my lashes just fan out and the liner kind of blends in with that when I'm looking directly on? Even if you're not interested in using an eye pencil for this technique, I encourage you to watch that video that I did on the baby wing liner with a pencil because it just is going to kind of build on this video as far as creating that shape. Uh, now, as far as fixing anything, so if you do this and your line's not perfectly smooth or even or it's a little bumpy, there are a few tips that you can do that will kind of correct that, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so what you're going to need is a really tiny, flat, angled brush. I grabbed the 266 by MAC, but honestly, my favorite brush to do this is by Sigma, and I think it's the E06. I will have it linked down below. I can't find it up here, but basically, basically it's a tiny version of this. It's like maybe a third the size of this, so it's easier. It's um, easier to control, and it just, uh, yeah, it's just a fantastic, fantastic brush for winged liner or for correcting winged liner. I'm gonna work with this because I'm kind of comfortable with, you know, doing this technique, but if you are new to this, I would encourage you to find a smaller brush than this. So I will have this one linked down below, but I'll also have that Sigma too. Then you wanna take a dark, dark matte shadow. Uh, I'm just, it doesn't matter where, where you grab it from, but. For the sake of this look, I'm gonna grab this dark brown. You could use black, but I think this brown is dark enough. Either one is fine, but I just grab that on my brush, tap off the excess. Then you want to just kind of trace, basically just trace over that line. It is going to soften it a little bit, so it's gonna kind of like um, diffuse the edges of that liner a little bit, but if you've got a jagged line or a bumpy line, which is probably the most common mistake, this is going to um, soften that, so it's not gonna be so noticeable. You know what I mean? Now, I don't really have too much of a jagged line, but I'm just gonna basically trace right over, right over that line. Kind of softens everything too. When I got a little jagged, that, yeah, that liner was a little challenging to work with, which is a bummer because it's so rich and pigmented that it has everything going for it, except I wish it was just a little softer. You might be able to, I wonder if you can kind of play with it a little. Yeah, I'm kind of breaking it in by softening that tip, and that does make it a little softer. Look at that mess I made, I hope this comes off. Okay, and that is how I create my simple baby winged liner every day. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. Leave all your questions for me down below. I will have this pen linked down below. Um, also, I'll have a 10% off um, any Sigma order that you place on Sigma's website. I have a coupon code for that, so I'll leave that link down below. I'm also gonna link Physicians Formula, the uh, liner that I normally use every day. It's not as rich as the Sigma, but I think it's a little easier to work with. So if you're just starting this technique, that may be one that you wanna start with. If you're a master of the wing liner, then you might really, really love working with this. I think this would also be really good if you are someone that wears false lashes a lot. I always like to go over the band of my false lashes with a really dark liquidy uh, eyeliner because it just kind of conceals that band and I think this one would be the perfect one for that because it is so black and so liquidy uh, and you could just literally go right over that band so I think this would be great for that. All right you guys as always thank you so much for watching. Leave me all your questions, requests for future videos down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!